Go away. Go have fun. Ew! <laughs> go away! <laughs> Like most nine-year-olds, William Stagg loves his mum, playing sport, and his mates. But unlike most kids his age, William has already learnt some tough life lessons. Cancer has affected William, his grandfather, grandmother, even a classmate. I told him that you may be behind with your friends and school, and you will miss a lot of it, believe me. But you just need to go with it and be tough, OK? William was only four when he was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukaemia. Aggressive treatment was eventually successful, but side effects included coordination problems and the possibility of future heart or liver problems. During treatment, William was in and out of hospital and missed almost a year of school, too sick to even have contact with kids his own age. Yeah, you know, when he was five, asking what a football was, he wouldn't have known. You know? <laughs> so yeah, but um, he knew definitely what chemo and all the oncology ward meant and and stuff. Today, nine in ten children with acute lymphoblastic leukaemia are surviving this disease. Half a century ago, the odds weren't so good. Childhood leukaemia was virtually incurable. Research has given our son Dos um, healthy. He, it's led us into uh, helping others because William was in the trial. It's thanks to scientific advances over the past few decades that kids like William have a fighting chance. For every type of cancer, it's research that holds the key to unlocking a future free of the disease. Based at the University of Western Australia, Winthrop Professor George Yeo is a world-renowned scientist. I've often said that knowledge is power, a power to use as weapons in our crusade against cancer. His team is investigating molecular changes that take place when a healthy liver cell turns cancerous. We prod and poke, we grind the cell up, we analyse. Um, we study pathways in the cells and we're trying to find the needle in the haystack and that needle may be the Achilles heel of that cell. Often working six days a week, Professor Yeo's work has become his life's passion. If you can make a significant discovery, then it can apply to a lot of um, different pa patients with liver disease. Cancer Council WA has helped fund Professor Yeo's work. Indeed, this microscope was bought with Professor Yeo's first Cancer Council grant almost 40 years ago. I think both the Cancer Council and us as recipients ensure that we use the money to the best possible outcome. Suzanne Rooney, CEO of the Cancer Council WA, says while the organisation funds many research projects, greater investment would save more lives. This year, 4,000 West Australians will die of cancer, and you know, it's 4,000 too many. We've got to do something about investing more money in research so that we can save more lives. Funding cutting-edge research right here in WA means we're able to attract and retain the world's brightest minds, all trying to unlock the mystery of the disease. We've moved forward, but you know, it's kind of just this tantalising thing in the future. It's if we can just keep going, we'll get there. It also means locals benefit directly from any scientific findings. Children like William are with us now because of the enormous investment in research and so he can live his life, his family have him with them and it makes a huge difference. We all know cancer is a rotten lottery. Research is the only way of changing the future. Five years ago I had throat cancer and my wife had breast cancer for the second time and I don't think I'd be standing here today but for research and neither would she. What research means to me is improve diagnosis and improve the treatment, and ultimately that they will find a cure. Research costs money, and every cent counts. 
no matter what the size of the donation, you know, $10, $100, $100,000, we will make good use of that. <laughs> if you don't have research, you never ever go forward. Research is hope. Mm.